Hello and welcome to Airfix's brand new 148th scale uh, Battle of Britain anniversary with Ready for Battle gift set. As you can see, if you're interested in this kit, its number coding is A50172. And part of the 75th anniversary of the Battle of Britain, this was made by. That's everything inside, it's absolutely new tooled. And I have to say, I'm over the moon by the level of detail on this thing. As for the box content, beautiful box art, you get these pieces. You get one Hurricane from 32 Squadron, Albion 3 Points Refueler, Bedford MWD, 10 figures, and a dog, and an accumulator, equipment set, oil refounder, and some wood things to stop the aircraft rolling away. So it comes with that, and uh, depends how much you're worth paying for. If you're buying it online for a bidding, it's worth well worth it. But if you buy it brand new, it's about thirty pound, twenty to thirty pound to buy it brand new. Anyway, let's get started. With skill level two, uh, free flying hours from the Airfix Club, and it also includes sixteen paints, two brushes, and two poly cements. So that's really good if you want to start a kit. Um, on the back, it's got um, illustration of what you want to build, anything else like that. Of course, you do what you want to do, and it's just a guide to tell you what it looks like. But anyway, that's what, what you want to do, you do it. Anyway, let's get this thing open. Uh, it's not an open top box, it's actually um, a side open box, which is actually surprising enough. I thought Airfix will have learnt their lesson by now. This is what you get, so I'm just going to take anything out. So, you've got your uh, paints over there. Your hurricane kit there. Instructions, that's important. We need them. So we got the Bedford there. And last but not least, we've got the Albion 3 point fueler and the crew figures. It's there. There they are. And that's all that's in within the box. Right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start off with the instructions. Now this absolute massive booklet, so I have to admit I am very uh, staggered how well this book is. I've just noticed that your... If I put it like that, should be alright. Sorry, I'm just trying to work out the camera. So I'm just going to zoom you out a bit, if I can do. No. As far as it will go. There you are. You got your instruction booklet here, and you start off with first English language, and then different foreign things. Now, the first thing that it tells you to do is the Hawk Hurricane, but according to what you want to do, you do which steps what you want to do. So, you start off with it's basically um, it's the same kit as what the Airfix what I bought, which is absolute separate. So basically, it's all brand new moulding, all told, so it's the same instructions on that. So you start off with the pilot seat going onto the rear bulkhead. Move down, this is where it's actually really nice, because the original Hurricane doesn't have a cockpit floor. And compared to the old kits, this one doesn't, so that's a great thing Airfix have done with this. Um, nor did the Spitfire actually, no. So you're going on here, you've got some nice framework going on, you've got your down here. Move on to your rudder pedal rudder, rudder pedals, rudder pedals, more framing. The this is nice only if you air canister, more wiring and such. And then um, a choice where to put the pilot in. Now, from what I've heard, the faces on these cheesy pilots, um actually people actually made or helped make the kit, so that's really nice touch. Another thing here, we've got the, uh, moving on to the wing section, going down here, we've got some more detail going in there, turn all your paints you go through. Now, this is what i really astonish about, if you're built as a diorama and you want, or you just want some detail, Airfix gives you the option choice or whether you want some machine guns on view. Now, that is absolutely brilliant, I am going to have mine shown. Um, and probably one kit, I don't know which one, but probably two. And we're going down here, we've got the, if you do have one too, you cut them open, and then you put the um, four 
uh, 30 calibers in there, along with your armament and your ammo packs going in, and more attention to detail on there. Moving on, oh, that's when the decals for everything are on one sheet, so keep that very safe because you don't want losing them. Excuse me, there. So again, moving on to the second wing with the other side going all the brownings and that. And then finally you're housing the two wings together, which is very nice. Move along then, once the cockpit is going in, you actually do the cockpit in which you basically do all the detail and all the work and that, that goes onto there, like such. Then we go on to actual adding parts, the actual thing underneath the engine cowling, the the bottom of the fuselage here, the ailerons which are actually adjustable as well. Then moving on to your air intake and your elevators and your tail fin which should all again be pointed at different positions which is very very nice. Air intake has a lot more detail than what I expected and very well I don't know detail I suspect. <laughs> moving on we have the wheel wells going in whether you want them up or down, tail wheel down, this is the up position, this is the down position there. And moving on to your final details, you've got the wheels going on, some different pitot tubes, stancing lights, um, exhaust pipes, uh, the prop going on, your gun sight, which is very nicely detailed, I have to say, and then your choice of an open or closed canopy, followed by the lights, the ailerons, ailerons, I mean, <sighs> wiring, uh, aerial. And then right at the end you've got your colour call out. Oh, crap. This only gives you one option within the thing. And I have to say this is very nice. This is um number 32 Squadron Royal Air Force, big and L English 1940. It's a funny coincidence because my grandfather was in 32 Squadron, not in Second World War, but in the Cold War. And I attempted to build the old Airfix 32 Squadron Hurricanes. Um that was my first fit on the 48th kit and they both went terrible. So I'm really looking forward to this one. Moving on, you get your straight to your Bedford MWD which gives you three options of what you want to build it. You can have your roof off, your normal roof on to the, the this part and then of course your coverage on. I think I'm going to go for this version actually. It's right, start off with your chassis going on here, putting your engine together and then going in, your fuel tanks on, and then followed by your springs and your uh, rotary, not rotary system, you know what I mean, the thing that spins in the middle. Then you go to the exhaust and then your wheels go onto there, followed by the last thing which was that spinny thing I just mentioned. So that's really it for the underside. Then you put on your top piece which goes to your flooring which is absolutely beautifully detailed. Next, your wheels, and actually, just looking at it, it does show that if you want to, you can have your wheels positioned at um, a different, I don't know what to put it, um, position. Followed by your mud flaps, sadly they're still horrible plastic. And then moving on to your cab, going on here, you have some nice detail, you've got some, your handbrakes, your well, rudder pedals, and the gear lever, I should know this, Jesus. Then followed by your seats and then putting everything together. You at nice engine detail you got your fly belt and the cylinders and stuff like that. Next page. Going on down here we've got some nice detail with the um, control panel, some the steering wheel, foot pedals going in and some de and a decal for the panel there. Again, uh, more engine detail working. You ha can have this positioned opened or closed. I'm not sure what to do mine, but I know it's going to be done. Followed by your uh, cover going, covers all going on, and your final parts, which is actually the same of how you want the last piece going on, which is um, going to be that's the one with not uh, a can canvas on. This part with the canvas on, of course, going down, going down. And then followed by the um, steps, doors, um, your perspex, and of course the last part which is the cover which is optional. And you can only do it in one version, well it depends what version you want to do, there's some reference material online. This is one they've done which is a, just a 
camouflaged Bedford. Moving on now, we conclude with the Albion three points with fuel. Now there is a lot going on in here again. Start off with the engine, that's going in there. Which actually, there's your spring, sorry, first going, then your engine. Followed by again a nice, that's nice. Wow. You even have the handle to start the engine, that's really nice going on in there. Again, that that thingy and that thingy stirring rod going on there. I'm going to that part there. Then you've got your, onto the chassis, you've got the wheel holders on going on in there. Followed by fuel tanks and more parts for the engine, more parts for the engine, more parts for the engine. And then your uh, exhaust pipe going on down there. Then you go into the wheel section, again you can have these put at a different angle, which is a very nice touch again. Then you start off with the cab, now there's a lot of detail again, same as the Bedford going on in here. Followed by your padded seats, which are actually detailed seat holders, and then your gear stick uh, handbrake, more panels, and then your steering wheel going on there. Then you kind of have to build the cab around it, with the side powers going there. Going down there, down, down there, some more pipe work at the back of the cab and then that's fitted onto the um, chassis. Next part we go straight back to the actual tank at the back. We got the pipe work and the pump system going at the back here. So you build the pump first, then onto the thing, then onto the back and then build it around it, followed by some pipe work going on here which you attach to here. Next is the actual tank itself which is in three pieces and fits onto the back there followed by some nicely detailed step ladders and a top tank there. You then uh, put some side panels onto the chassis and then some steps on. That go, The tank goes onto the chassis followed by the the exhaust fan, not exhaust fan, I don't know why it is. Um, go on there, there are small panels there, again I think you can only have this closed up so which is an absolute shame because there's a lot of detail going there, you can only have this closed up followed by the um, holder at the front, whatever it's called then at the back here you can have uh, your spare wheel going on there, you can have while your t cab doors open or closed again that's very nice and again down here you can have your um, the back parts open or closed yet again, which is again very good. Final part, which is absolutely complicated, if you're a younger model, you will need help with this. Is the actual pipe work going on to the top here? Well, first start with the lights, then the pipe work going on. You can have these positioned in three lots now. I'm sure FX would have actually put them into different positions where you can move it and adjust it, but no, it's always it's got to be fixed. But I'm not sure what to do with that. So that's going to be later. Again, you only have one marking option, which is um, standard uh, camouflage pattern. Again, lastly, instructions you have the figures. Now, these figures are absolutely detailed. I'll show you what they're like in a minute. But in total, you have 10 figures going through in here. You've got mostly groundsmen, you've got two pilots, and a mascot dog, which is very very nice. So that's all that going now. Just let you take that all in. That's such because I'm not just explaining which everyone. You know, that's, that's Neil. That's Jeff. That's Simon. That's Gibson. You know, just going through there. And then finally, you've got your color callouts, which is actually very good. And all on little stand if you wish to pose them like that. But I'm not sure what to do with mine. Again, more positional and color options. Lastly is your um, your oil booster going on there. That's that's settled in four steps. Your, your trolley accumulator. That's very nice. You can have it in two different positions, either an open or closed position, with the accumulator sticking out or whatever. And that's going on. That's done in ten steps. Wait, is it? Sorry, six steps. And then your am lastly, your ammunition trolley, which actually is very good because it has some spare brownings if you wish to choose one. And again, lastly, your colour callouts and what you need to paint which, and your final step pieces. And that is that for instructions. Wow, I think I need a drink after all that speaking. That is absolute mad. So let's go and get down there out the way. Right, so going back, uh, here are the decals. Again, they are made by Cartograph which means they are absolutely excellent detail and um, 
go together very, very nicely. Now, most of the one is the Hurricane, which is up here. So you've got your instrument panel, your code, and all that. And then down here, you've got your Bedford and then your um, Albion. So basically, it's all the decals on one big sheet. Okay, so that is that. That goes down there. Right, so we've got the paints in the bag. I think we'll get rid of these or something like that. Uh, avoid danger suffocation, please go away with wrapper from babies and children. You don't say. Anyway, we got uh, two poly cements, two brush, and 16 paints, which is very good if you're a, you're a beginner and you actually still want to start painting. So that's very, very nice what they've done there. Yeah. Now, I haven't opened these bags, so they're going to be really, really nice. So I'm going to start off with the figures. Now, where's my knife? There you have it. Across. Get these figures out. Right, so it comes with two sprues and a hose line. Not a rubber hose line, they are. Right, so here's the figures. Let me just zoom you in. Refocus you there. So there you are. They are absolutely wonderful detailed on there. There's ten figures in total. And as you can see, they're wow. And also you get for every single one apart from the pilots, the two parts, you get different heads, one with a helmet or one with a hat, so it's up to you what you want to do with them. They're all on stands, but you can just put them on as normal if you want. And they're absolutely in best condition. Just have a look there at them. Wow, very nice and crispy and detailed as well. So that's very very good and of course my that's the nice feature of the little dog here. Funny enough it I think it looks exactly like um a cocker spaniel. <laughs> Funny enough I've got a cocker spaniel as well so I'm gonna paint it in what she looks like. My dog. So that's really weird that is. Okay. Go down there. We've got the next the equipment set which is the accumulator oil root oil Thing, whatever and the equipment set. No, I'm just having a look. There is a fair amount of stuff going on here. Four years enough. And then of course the uh this here and whereabouts are there? I'm gonna zoom you out, sorry. Is that enough? Yeah. Zoom you out a bit more. Yeah. So you got the two um my thing is called here, and I can't find the others. Whereabouts are they? Oh, there, it's four of them. They are. So that stops the wheels from getting away, and they are absolutely nice. Very nice indeed, guys. Excellent molded, all crisp and detailed. Of course, the tyres look very, very good there. Nice. And then, last but not least, this rubber hosing that's for the figures. Um, if you want one for the, the petrol line, from the tanker or the accumulator or whatever you want to do with them. So that's very nice what they put in there. Right, next is going to be the Albion the Viola. Yeah, let's get this out of the bag again. Still sealed. I haven't opened these. I haven't even seen them much review of this, so this is the first time for me. And wow. Wow, that's nice. Excellent detail on these sprues here. Wow, even nice clear parts as well. They're actually clear, apart from the old Airfix ones, they're clear. Right, so this is the part with the tanker on the back. Uh, this is the top piece, side parts, and then the top part of the back. Yeah, that's that the back of the cab, is it? I don't know. Anyway, th that's one sprue. Again, you got the pipes along here, and they're very very nicely moulded and that. See I'm blown away but the rivets at the back here. Wow. So that's that's through gone. Next through you've got your main chassis, so that's how you'll be roughly that big probably. It's gonna be that big. And you've got your springs on here, more springs, your engine cover and more engine covers along here, your seat, so that's your I don't know what that is anyway. And part of your engine there, one piece of that engine there. 
The next sprue, again, wow, detail in here is amazing. You've got your, your front panel here, this is where the, the cabinet, you've got more pipe work, and no pipe work that sits at the back, and there's actually some nice raised detail in that, that's very nice for the pipe work and the coin. Then you've got your, your fan at the front there, again, there's actually a fan there, wow. Again, second part of the engine, seat, back part of the tank, ladders, handbrake, gear stick, I don't know what that is actually, some part of the pipe probably, and then your pump system down there, again, wow, over the moon, that is amazing. And the last part on the sprue is a big, the, one of the biggest ones I think, you've got your tyres, which again, not moulded ones, so you have to do some sanding around the edges here, but they are very, very good moulded. Uh, you got some more pipe work here, and it's parts of the cab going on, your top of the cover, your floors actually has some wood detail on there, and then different parts of the engine along here, and your steering wheel. Wow, that is one truly nice kit. I'm going to enjoy this very much. I'm sure you will too. Right, that's that done. Right, moving on, we got the Bedford here. Bedford again. Slice that open. Slice that open, that sounds a bit murderous. Slice that open, what the hell am I talking about? Again, let's start off with the plastic. First part here got the chassis and the floor and the canvas top. Again, that is absolutely brilliant. I love that it's just it's just crisp, it's soft, but it's crisp detail. And of course the wood flooring at the back here, that's gonna be really, really nice. And even some nice pedals and the gear stick down there. Wow. That's a nice build. Wow. So you got that there, you got some parts there. Uh, parts I want to talk about. Nothing over there. Your yeah, clear parts. There's not much clear parts for this vehicle because it was all open up. Made for the British Army really, so I didn't have a lot for the RAF. So that's going to go there. Your next part is every little detail and again over the moon by detail, the tyre treads, you can see the tyre treads there, that is wow, wow, oh my god, I'm going to zoom you in here, let me focus you, I don't know where you can see that, but across here at the back, you can see every tiny little rivet that comes out, or bolt, or whatever, for the back plate and the sides there, that is, wow, well done there fix on that, that's, that's really good for dry brushing that is, wow. So really over the moon by that, that is truly amazing, very, very nice kit. Zoom you back out, refocus you there. Again, engine, seats, not much for seats to be honest, oh they're the seats, so which ones are they? Oh, the steps! Sorry, I'm talking about steps. Again, some nice engine cover detail there. You've got your springs, your detail work, steering wheel, pedals. Oh, that's nice. They had the mirrors, doors, canvas doors even. The canvas doors, wow, they're good moulded. You can see that there. Wow, that's really nice. They've got your fuel tanks in that. That is really nice kit. Right, that can go there. The last piece is, of course, the main body. Now you've got your other piece, which has the whole camera set. And again, the, I'm going to zoom you. I'm going to zoom you in. And this is absolutely ridiculous. Refocus you on. There you go. You can see all the rate work across here. That is really, really nice. And of course, the canvas detail as well. That is nice. That is very good. Zoom you back out on that. Again, got some the same cab parts, doors, seats, panels, two different variants you want, and of course the front grill. The front here. That's it, the grill, why can't I think about it? Wheels, the 
here. Wait, wait, why am I doing that? Right, so that can go over there. And yep, yeah, that's it for the MWD. And last but not least is the Hurricane Fighter, which is in this massive bag, which I've specially kept till last. So, yeah, see if I can open this up. Like that. Take this piece out. Hmm, it's a tricky little thing to get into. This is. There you have it. Right, that can go over there. Let's go over there. Right, first part is yeah, um, clear parts. Now they are absolutely detailed. They're nice and thin, crisp, and see through perfectly. I noticed this one has come off in the bag, so that's why I'm not opening it. So no, my my luck, I'll lose it. But anyway, that's what it's like, and very nicely detailed. If you want to skip the hurricane build and watch, I know someone's. Some people have done the inbox review of the Hurricane and it's very, very good. So I'll just do one now. So the next part, your sprue, you've got uh, the wings, top wings here. This part where you cut the uh, doo -doo -doo -doo, cut the ammuni ammunition things out for the guns and that. And I can say they're very, very good. Wow. Very good. At the end here, you've got your bit of your un underside thing, whatever it's called, under the cockpit there and then your nicely detailed rear bulkhead going on there and of course your part which is elevated in there the inside has got some more nicely detailed to help you show where the parts go again, very very nice right, next part is another big one which is the side, fuselage side halves uh, some engine covers and prop elevators and cockpit detail. Now, cockpit detail is very nice because you have some, uh, you actually have some radio controls and some radio, radio, why am I going radiator? Throttle levers there on the side. Again, the cockpit has some more detail going on there, so that's very, very good. Wow, over the moon by that. And then, of course, you cut two different props. Uh, you'll be, I think you'll be doing this one, I think, not this one, but yeah, I'm not sure, but you'll soon find out. Again, the detail on the rivets and, well, on the fabric even, which is common for the Hurricane, uh, again, very, very good. I like the sliding canopy part of the back here, that's nice detail. Again, some nice crisp. Wow, that's very nice. First time I've actually had a proper look at the new Hurricane. Wow, because I don't think I've got it out of the bag of the of one I bought. Anyway, looking down here, this is all the other detail part. Again, a lot going on in here. A lot. So again, you've got a choice of a pilot if you want to. You've got down here, you've got some of your ammo things there, including where you can detail the bullets and that's for the 30 cows. Two different props, um, you'll be using this one because not the pointed one. Do that one, bit of your cockpit floor, floor going on here and here. Some more um, cockpit parts going there. The instrument panel, which is again absolutely lovely detail. Air intake, uh, coolant systems, tail wheel, wheels, wheels, control rod, and some spare panels if you want the other one taken off. So again, absolutely amazing detail on that. Very, very good. I'm just going to quickly zoom you in. Refocus you so you can see all the nice detail on there. Let's quickly go over, of course, the 30 calibers there. Very, very nice. Very good. There you have it. Right, it's final sprue. Go refocus you out. Which is your main wing and some other surfaces. So you've got your bottom wing here which is a, which absolutely amazing uh, raised, de not raised, um, actual panel line detail there. Uh, again you've got some control surfaces down here, some firewall bulkhead, your tail fin, wheels, part of your air intake and again this part here that's very good which is the part which holds the, um, the cockpit as well as the MGs in. It's very very good, these two parts, and then of course your landing gear, parts of where you want it up or 
down. Very, very nice, I have to say. That is the end of the inbox review. That is everything that's in there. It's a shame that Airfix didn't have an open top box for this instead of a side open one. But still, it's all brand new tool link and it is absolutely brilliant if a modeler wants to start it. So I really recommend this for anyone. Basically anyone. It doesn't have to be for young ones, but it could be for anyone. That's why I bought it really. It was cheaper to buy this as a set rather than anything individual. So yeah, why not? If you thinking of ever get one, get it because it's well worth it. Okay, that is it. I hope you enjoy watching the inbox review and hopefully you should be building one very soon. I'm going to start mine very soon, probably the figures first. Alright, thank you for watching. Hope you learned something and I'll see you next time. Cheers and goodbye for now.